Shalom to all of my sisters, my bro stars of the Star Seeds United, allies and friends. I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours, Abracadabra. I just want to bless our ancestors today. Yeah, I want to talk about them because they helped me uh, to come. They helped lift me up from the very bottom of this pyramid. When I was at rock bottom, I was at total rock bottom. Okay. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to talk about being at the rock bottom. I was emotionally at the rock bottom. I felt like there was nobody in this world that loved me. Nobody. I was uh, in this house, and I got a big old house. It was built in 1900, and this was a very bad winter, and I don't have a car. So I was stuck in my house. Throughout that cold-ass winter, my phone didn't ring one time. I felt like nobody loved me. I didn't have a dime through that winter. All I had was my little snap card and my little basket that I had to walk through the snow to get my groceries. And my neighbors would pass me up, honking their horn. Yeah. So I felt like nobody loved me. That was a horrible feeling. And I was broke too. Oh, my goodness. So one day, I was overwhelmed. And, you know, I've always prayed, but it seemed like the Most High wouldn't hear me. And so I went down on my face. And I thought about my ancestors, the people that I know loved me. People that did kind, wonderful, beautiful, loving things for me. And I did kind, wonderful, beautiful things for them. And so I start talking to them, personally calling them out by name. And I was asking them, could you please, could you please talk to the Most High? And tell them that I did this for you. Tell them about the good deeds and how I loved you and I was always kind and respectful. Can you please talk to him? Because he, he won't hear me. And name by name, I called those that had passed on. And I asked them to please go before the Most High God of Israel. With, my, with the report, the truth of who I am. Would you call that praying to the ancestors? That was the first time I made a request from them. I don't know. It was just like a natural thing. Like I feel like the Most High didn't hear me at the time because I was at the bottom of the pyramid and we'd be feeling like that. Like what have I done for you to turn or, you know, wink and not even see me? That's how we be feeling. And he'd be watching us the whole time. But we be feeling like, why? Why haven't you moved on my behalf? That's the test. I was still talking to him, though. So I felt like he, he wouldn't hear me, and I asked them to pray for me. I know that their energy is still alive. Yeah, so I just want to bless those ancestors that prayed for me. Yes, because the Most High did hear them. And he brought me from the bottom of this pyramid ever since. He brought me from the bottom of this pyramid. I'm surrounded by love, honey. You see, at that moment in time when I felt like it was nobody in this matrix that loved me, I had to go to people that I knew loved me, that didn't reject me. Yeah, I had to go to them. In my desperation, I felt like that was the only allies I had at the time. <laughs> it was a test. Yeah. So I don't know how you feel about it. You can put it in the comment section. 
And from time to time, I feel their presence. I know that it's them. They come to my mind very, very uh, strongly. I acknowledge them. I might even start talking about some something that we did together and start laughing and talking. Yeah, and just remembering the good things uh, and the good times that we had together. Yeah, it doesn't happen often, but when someone comes to my mind very, very strongly, yeah, I acknowledge them. Let me tell you about our ancestors and, and this evil, okay? It was a lot more evil in Hashitan's coffers. Let me say that again. It was a lot of unprocessed evil available to Hashitan and his coffers. And our ancestors had to bear the brunt of that evil. And they should be honored. So today I honor those ancestors because a lot of that evil um, that they had to endure, you know, when they were at the rock bottom, hell, my rock bottom was like Disneyland compared to what their rock bottom was. I didn't miss a meal. I, I still had some shelter. My utilities were still on. That's like a paradise for what our ancestors went through. Yeah, and so because of them, you know, we made it up until this time. Yeah, it had to be processed out. And they, too, made a contract with the Most High God of Israel before they came into this dimension to bear the brunt of that evil that had not been processed yet that needed to go into the justice scales. And they are due credit. Yeah. We survived. Because Hashitan and his family. At Psalms 83. Has always had a plan. To just wipe us out. They don't even want to see us. They don't even want us to step foot on our own land. That they stole. And a lot of our ancestors were here. They were already here before Christopher Columbus. Now we know that. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what they went to through? The dread and the horror. You, you have a farm. You're living peacefully with your neighbors. It's enough for everybody. And you all support each other. You have your farmer's market. You have your own government. You know, everybody's cool. All needs are taken care of in the community. Some were even wealthy aristocrats. And you spent your life building your empire. Or your father did, or his father did. And somebody come over. Help, help. We're in distress. We're running from persecution. See? They knew we were empathetic people. They knew that we have empathy. That's why they always come with distress. They're the victim all the time. Because they know and we have empathy. But Hashitan, it's a new day now. You needed to process all that evil to go into the justice scales. And you are almost out of evil. Can you imagine how they felt when everything, their whole empire was taken from them and they stripped off? Their beautiful clothing, stole all of their clothing, stole everything they had, stripped them, and put them on the land that was theirs and made them work until they died. 
Can you imagine how they fell on their face? And they, they felt like the Most High God of Israel didn't see them anymore and didn't hear them anymore. Yeah, and they didn't know why either because we had a memory wipe. And they had to bear the brunt of the evil. You know, I be hearing cocky people say, huh, if I was back in the civil rights movement, I would have did this, I would have did that. Or if somebody did this to me, I would have did this. You wouldn't have did shit because we didn't have power in our hands. You think you would have because we're in a day where Hashitan, you know, he still has evil that he inflicts upon our people. But it's not like it was back then. He's almost out of it. Slavery. Oh, I would have did this. You would have got lynched. Because we had no power in our hands. During that time, we had absolutely no power in our hands. Everybody was looking at us like we had a big ass dollar sign on us. On our foreheads. We had, we didn't have any power. They could just beat us to death. Yeah, they, they, it's coming back up how they had um, this law. See, word magic, where if a slave did not follow instructions and the master killed them, the master could not be held accountable in any way. Nobody can feel bad about him for killing the slave. Because after all, it was all the slave's fault because the slave didn't follow instruction. You know what that law, who that law was made for? White women. Because they were beating our children to death. They were beating our children to death. We had no power in our hands. Can you imagine being the mother and the father of that child? Watching because they made us watch. Your child being beat to death. That father that couldn't rescue his baby. Can you imagine? That's why I'm saying they should be honored. They had to bear the brunt of the evil that needed to go into justice scales. And they have used it almost up. And it's time for them to pay. Anyway, all of those ancestors, just like Adam had a memory wipe, just like you did. Yeah, listen. There, you know, the most high God of Israel does love you. He's watching you. You still talking to him. You passing that test. If you at the rock bottom. You are passing the test because you're still communicating with the Most High God of Israel. Now, I talked about me talking to my ancestors. That was like desperation. That's the only time that I made a request from my ancestors. Yeah. Because I knew that they loved me. And now I know that people in this matrix love me all the time. It was a big old trick. It was a lot of a Hashitan's magic. That's what that was. Separating you from everybody. And then making you feel like nobody loves you. And then you start wondering why nobody loves you. <laughs> and then they start telling you what's in people's brains. assumptions they start lying to you because you don't know what's in other people's brains and they don't either and they just commence to lying and it just gets worse and worse and you just sink all the way down to the bottom because love is a basic human need to be accepted is a basic human need that's why it's it's like an agony to feel that way yeah but all the time people really it's like illusions it's exaggerations it's illusions 
And if you did do something evil, they really love to remind you of that. They'd love to remind you of when you failed. Uh, so you think that everything that's happening to you is your fault. And they put you in despair, accusing you. So our Holy Mother taught me how to free myself. It didn't come from any books. This came straight from the mother. Because in the depths of my despair, I was dwelling in so much guilt and shame. And when they convince you, when they convince you that everything is your fault and you're just a bad person, when they, when they can convince you of that, then you, you don't even love yourself, you know. And, and love is so very important. That was, that's what sent me to the bottom in my despair is when I didn't feel anybody loved me. Then they start attacking me so I won't love myself. And as long as I stayed in that despair, feeling that nobody loved me in this dimension, I would never, ever become. You know, that's their whole in-game goal, is to keep you down so you will never become. Because love is a basic human need. They found that out with little babies when they was experimenting on some little newborns. They just love to experiment, don't they? So they had some newborns that were very, very loved and cuddled and, you know, hugged and spoken kind words to. And then they had other newborns that they didn't even have them to touch. They had some kind of way, I guess, through gloves or whatever. But the babies weren't touched and those babies didn't thrive. They were newborns. They didn't even have data in their brain yet. But they didn't thrive because they weren't loved. So love is a basic human need. Yeah. And then sometimes, you know, things happen in the drama. In the drama where you went too far. And you know that it's your fault that people don't talk to you. You know it's your fault. And they bombard you with that shit too. About everything you said, about every wicked thing that you did, they just love to remind you of that. And that's why people don't love you. But a lot of us, we did shit. None of us are innocent. Yeah, and the drama happens. And they use that one event to push you down, to beat you with. Yeah, it's time to free yourself. It's time to forgive yourself. It's all over with. Ain't nobody thinking about it but you. It happened years ago. And it's not on everybody's mind. Or only on your mind. Because you're haunted with something that you did. Everybody did something. Everybody did something in this matrix. And you, at that moment, you happen to process some evil. That went into justice scales. And we don't get away with anything. Not if you're a star seed. <laughs> we have to pay for that evil right away. Ain't it the truth? This whole system is designed for us not to get away with anything. I mean, and we can't get away with anything in this matrix. And they add to it by making us pay for other people's crimes. So, it's time to free yourself. It's time to talk to yourself. Be realistic about what happened. Why you did it. And the Most High God of Israel. He, 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 in, in my processing, you know, when I thought back on the dramas and when I hit back, because I've always been like that. You know, somebody attacked me, I'm going to try to destroy one way or the other. And um, that's just been a part of my nature. And so when I'm in a drama, and it's like word magic. And so I said some things. And they might have been true things. But I said them to hurt. Or to accuse in front of other people. 
You know, that kind of shit like that. And then when my phone don't ring or I don't hear from that person anymore, you know, then I look back on what I did and what they did. And it's forevermore. Give me a break. You already went through it. It already happened. That 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 even went into justice skills, more than likely you already paid for it. Okay, you guys. So I'm talking about this because mother told me this. And this is one of the things that she repeated in my mind when I first woke up. If you dwell in guilt and shame, you'll never become. If you dwell in guilt and shame, you will never become. Okay? And so I I, I knew exactly what she was saying. Because the enemy was bombarding me with accusations. Of shit that I did. In every little bitty thing. Making everything in the world that happened my fault. <laughs> because I'm so guilty. I don't deserve anything good because I'm so guilty because I did this 30 years ago. I did this 10 years ago because he's the accuser of the brethren. And as long as he can keep you in guilt and shame, you won't become because you don't think you're good enough. When in actuality, all of us have faults. All of us have done something. Everybody on the planet did something evil. everybody so you did that thing but if you dwell in it if you dwell in it and you allow them to accuse you all day and all night and make you feel like everything is your fault you will never think that you're good enough so it's time for you to shut their asses up you did it you're sorry. You're really regretful for whatever you did. It happened. You bear the responsibility for that thing. Which means you owned it. You owned that you did something. You did it. It's over. You don't have to relive it. More than likely, you got tricked by the enemy and they started all that drama to, to get you to do something evil. And you fell for the okie doke. And now it's over and you do not have to dwell in it any longer. You don't have to feel the guilt and the shame for the rest of your life. And the Most High God of Israel never turned his back. We were all being tested. And through those tests, no matter how you came at the Most High, you went to Him. And so, now it's time to let yourself off the hook. You're good enough. You're a star seed. You know you're a star seed. You have a magical gift. You know that the Most High God of Israel loves you now. Now you got to love yourself. Because that is the most important thing. They never want you to realize the beauty that you possess inside. They never want you to realize that. They never want you to love yourself. They never want you to look at yourself and be proud. Because that's very powerful when you start loving yourself. And when you start loving yourself, you become very lovable. And that's what they want to stop. The power of that love. They want to just stomp out your light and forever accuse you and keep you with your head down forevermore with their lies and their accusations, even just with their true accusations, something you really did. Don't let them do that to you. You have a door on your mind. And those things that bring you down in despair, that's from the enemy. And you have the authority to say, shut the hell up. I'm not going to relive the most fucked up thing I did in my life for the rest of my life. I'm not going to relive that. It was horrible and terrible. The thing that I did, 
And I'm very sorry for it. I already lived through all of this guilt and shame for it. And I'm not going to allow you to remind me of it. Go away. And start thanking the Most High God of Israel for His mercy. And if you discipline yourself to do that, they can't play you like that anymore. They can't keep you in a state of guilt and shame. Okay? And that is shadow work. That's shadow work. It all begins with you being so sorry and humble. That's where it all begins. And that's why the Most High has you on the bottom. Emotionally. And now it's time for you to rise up. Talk to the Father honestly. If it still bothers you, whatever that thing was, if it was really horrible and terrible and evil, you go to the Father honestly about it. He wants that communication from you. He knows and he wants you to express that you know too. And he wants to hear your heart about the issue. Because he knows that if you he knows if you are really regretful for that thing, you talk to him honestly about it and ask him to have mercy on you and to forgive you. He'll do it because he hears your heart. Once you did that shadow work, because it's a process, and you just go step by step for every little thing, because you'll be reminded when you do your shadow work. When you really want to be forgiven and you want to come out of that guilty shame, it's a process. Everything will come to your mind and you talk to the Father honestly about it. And then let yourself off the hook. Because after all, are you better than the Most High God of Israel? If He forgives you, can you forgive yourself? Can you love yourself again? Because that's the most important thing. Yeah, so anyway, y'all, that is uh, the wisdom that came to me this morning. I hope it helps somebody. I know that I'm talking to somebody right now. I know I'm talking to somebody because those damn demons, the accusers of the brethren, they have played this trick on the masses, the same damn trick. It works, so, you know, they just they just continue to do it. If it's not broke, why fix it? Yeah. So once we realize their game, the game is destroyed. The illusion is destroyed. Yeah, and then you will be free. You will be free. As soon as you start, I'm telling you, as soon as you start shutting them down in the ways that I just told you, your vibration will increase. You will elevate. Your mind will be free. Your mind will be clear. You can hear. You can hear. You will have the ear to hear the truth. Yes, all praises to the Most High. I am free. I am free. Yeah, this this method that came straight from our Holy Mother, this wisdom freed my soul. Yeah, and, and if you hear it, your soul will be free too, abracadabra. And you will be so lovable and you will thrive and your light will get brighter and brighter. You get closer and closer and you will elevate. All praise to the Most High. Yes, Star Seed United, you, I cannot even express what your love has, has done for me. Your love and your acceptance has been golden. It has been so valuable to this mission. All of your comments, the love gifts that you send to me is so encouraging. I'm telling you. That's why those little babies thrived when kind words were said to them, when they were embraced, when they were touched. And you have really touched me. A special shout out to TH for that gift of love. It was really a beautiful surprise for me. Very encouraging. Very encouraging. 
Yes, thank you so very much. May the Most High bless you a hundredfold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. That was really a surprise. And I really thank you so very much. And to all of you who have blessed me with love gifts, with kind words, joining in the fight, putting your energy in with mine, I really, really do appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you all, and I love you all. And I send you infinite love and light. Yeah, and I do receive yours. I hope you feel mine too. Yes. And if you're new to my station and you resonate with this message, feel free to subscribe. This is unusual. Usually we're in battle. Yeah, we have been assigned to spiritual warfare on this channel. And this is spiritual warfare because now you know the trick of the enemy and you can fight back, okay, on an individual basis. So this is spiritual warfare. I hope you receive this wisdom. This divine message comes straight from our Holy Mother who speaks. She's given us wisdom on how to free ourselves. She's given us so much wisdom on this journey and I just thank her so much and I honor her for all of this wisdom. Yes, all praises to the Most High for um, choosing us for this holy mission that has been led by our Holy Mother. Yes, all praises to the Most High and our beautiful Mother. Now she wants her soldiers, our Holy Mother wants all of her soldiers, all of her warriors to be in good health. She wants your light bright. She wants you strong. She wants you ready. And this is a way that she taught us how to do it. Yeah, our praises. Yeah, this has been a wonderful experience. Yeah, being connected from the 3D to, 5, to the 5D to here. These messages, not coming from any books, but coming straight from our Holy Mother. And it works. The proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. So just try it. Yeah, I guarantee you, you will be free. Very shortly, you will elevate very swiftly. Your vibrations will increase so quick. Yeah, all praise to the Most High. And knowing their end game goal is to keep you disconnected and to keep you from praising the Most High. So you know what we're going to do, Star Seeds United. Give your father praise and glory. Adore your beautiful mother. And pledge your allegiance to our big brother, the King and the God of this earth. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all of the rest of the days of our lives. And we will dwell in that magical holy palace with our father the creator our mother the holy spirit and our big brother the messiah the king and the god of this earth Abracadabra. thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share all of this good news star seed united star seed united for life yes we have many victories Thank you so much for your gifts of love. May the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. Until the next Judgment News, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom. I feel a great change in me. Great change in me. I am so happy. I am so free. Brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. Oh, 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 oh. Great change in me.